practice or something like that, you'll definitely need to bundle up, maybe have one of those windbreakers on because it's going to be pretty windy. Now, a freeze warning for tonight for all the areas you see highlighted in blue. That means temperatures below freezing are expected for an extended period of time. So again, as Lanise mentioned, cover up those plants. I know a lot of you guys have your gardens already started. Getting those started, cover the plants up for tonight. And after tonight, we're going to see temperatures rebound. So tonight is really the only night of concern. Now, temperatures right now across the area, we're seeing 63 in Gulf Shores, 63 in Mobile. 65 in Pensacola, so pretty comfortable temperatures out there, but you put the wind along with it and it can be a bit chilly in some locations. Now, your temperature trend for today, we reached 60 degrees by the noon time frame and then slowly went up from there. And again, temperatures are going to rebound as we move towards the end of the week. High pressure is going to start building in and that's going to allow our temperatures to warm. Visible satellite out there, no cloud cover whatsoever. A beautiful day out there with blue skies. You can see on the storm tracker too, no precipitation. It's going to stay that way as high pressure builds in for the next couple of days. Then we have another front coming through towards the end of the week. So for tonight, temperatures going down quickly. 9 p.m. We're going to be around 47, getting into the 30s for a lot of us tonight. Some of you even below that. So your headlines as we make our way to the middle of this week. We're going to talk a little bit more about that wind advisory, the freeze for tonight and then those showers return with that second front coming through. We'll talk about all of that coming up in your full forecast in a few minutes. Looking forward to it. It is going to be a cold one. Yes, it is. Well, Alabama state inspectors are in the Mobile area tonight checking traps for killer bees. Fox 10 News reporter Steve Alexander tells us killer bees were found in Baldwin County about a year ago and the bee swarming season is just around the corner. Rainy day, they won't be flying. So I try to check them on, on nice days. Randy Hammond is an inspector with the Alabama Department of Agriculture. He's checking traps he set up in Chickasaw, Biola Battery, and other port areas for Africanized honeybees. Those bees are often called killer bees because they're more aggressive than the regular European variety. The Europeans, you know, they, they might, you know, if you really rile them up, might, you know, send out 10, 20. We're Africanized colony. Uh, if you get them riled up, they can send hundreds. In fact, swarms of Africanized bees have been blamed for killing humans. Hammond says prime time for bee swarms is mid-March to late April, and inspectors did find a killer bee in our area last year. We did find one that was, uh, considered Africanized on I-10 in Baldwin County. But the good news is Hammond says it was an isolated case. No, they're not established and I don't even, we didn't really even release it to the press at that time. But, uh, you know, we've had two fines now in the last couple of years, so it's gonna start happening more and more. And that's why Hammond checks all 125 bee traps in the Mobile area once a month. Uh, the peninsula of Florida is about two-thirds covered now. Uh, they are starting to encroach, you know, from Louis southern Louisiana. There's been a few finds in Mississippi, so we know they're sort of coming this way. And what did Hammond find in this morning's check? Nope, no bees. But he'll be back. Reporting from Chickasaw, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Wow, 125 of those traps, and Hammond arrived in the area this morning to check them. He's got to be in the area 